Yo, here you see me again in Tomb Raider. The big difference is, as you can hear, this time you will hear me talking. To prevent confusion, I just played the game entirely over. So, this is just another session. The session without commentary was played before. I can say this, just like in the non-commentary videos, I've cheated twice. And I will uh, reveal the first time. I'm starting with 200 of all regular items. And the second time I cheat will be somewhere halfway the game in which I actually skip a small part of the game, which is mandatory. I won't say where I will do it. I can only say it will be at the same time as in the non-commentary videos. It won't be in the first level and it won't be in the last. And that's all you're getting out of me. And I hope you listened very carefully. As I will say this only once. Let's just get on the move, shall we? Well, this is by far the easiest Tomb Raider level ever created, I think. Made it through unarmed. Yes, and Lara shows me where to go, but that is a magician's trick. Lead the attention away from the things that really matter, as there is a little secret here. And that would be the first meta pack in the game. <laughs> and let's take out my guns. In order to make those bats regret they ever met me. Goodbye. Well, as you can see, I didn't cheat in my weapons, and I did that on purpose. Something tells me that here is some kind of secret passage, but I've never quite been able to work it out. Perhaps if you guys can show me what the purpose there is, as I think that is the only secret passage that I missed in this particular level. Open sesame. Bad bat. Very bad bat. Why did I cock my guns? I really don't know. And I think I should watch where I'm going.
don't be bothered by the wolves down there. Unless you mess this up, you won't ever need to confront them. So why kill? Almost <coughs> needlessly. Growl, 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 I've heard it all before. And so long, suckers. Well, we gotta watch out. There is a bear down there. There are only three bears in the entire game, as far as I know. And you only need to kill one. The other two bears can be found in the second level, the city of Vilcabanda. And here are some... Goodbye. Now, before I concern myself with those huge doors, first time for a secret passage. Damn, this really plays weird with that headset on my head. Come on, Lara. Well, flipping this switch will open that door open there, over there. However, it will only remain open for a very short time. So, I got to time everything perfectly. Here goes. Not so hard if you played this game as much as I have. As you could see, I still had some time left. And Hello, Mr. There is another wolfie down there. Yes, there you are. Die, motherfucker. Why doing it like that? Well, simple, this way I wouldn't get any damage. Not that it matters, since this door is the exit.
Well, unlike the non-commentary recordings where I did one level per video, I will now do entire areas per video. And as you know, the first area is Peru, where Lava will visit the caves first, which I just completed. Second level, the city of Vilcabamba. Third level, the Lost Valley. And the fourth and final level, the Tomb of Qualopac. After that, Lawa will go to Greece, starting at the first level, St. Francis Folly. Second level, the Colosseum. Third level, Palace Midas. Fourth level, the Cistern. And the fifth level, the Tomb of Tehoken. After that, to Egypt, starting in the city of Camun, then the Obelisk of Camun, and finally the Sanctuary of the Sion. And lastly, Lawa will travel to Atlantis with the mine levels first, then a level called Atlantis, and lastly the Great Pyramid. I will take these countries all in a separate video. And if the recording time takes too long on me, I will just merge those videos. Well, this water pool is entirely optional. It only leads to two secret passages. What you see on the other side of the pool is important to note. That is a barn. Don't ever get close to it or you release a bear, which is very hard to kill and nothing in there is worth it to take that risk anyway. Well, let's take a dive, shall we? It is optional, I know, but hey, it's always fun to do, right? And for the first secret passage, I need to be here. Yes, there was a switch down here. Yes, there it is. Oh, hey! Come on, Laura, don't play up on me. Your oxygen is limited. Very good. Things did not really go the way I wanted it, so I hope I can make it with my oxygen. Yes, that should do it. Yeah, you can say that again, Laura. And here is the passage itself. Hiding two Magnum clips. And a small meta pack. Well, let's first save the game before I mess this up. I have a kind of a habit to use a new slot for every save game. That is to prevent I have to do too much again when I overwrite critical data. That's all. And let's dive in again. I hope you can stand my commentary. I normally suck at that. But it seems to be popular. Well, let's follow suit and try what I can do. 
and there is the switch to the second secret passage. This one is easier as the passage itself is just above my head. Very well. And let's now go down to business with the stuff I needed to do anyway. The city of Flickabamba is actually divided in two main parts, which this is the first. Where did that fucking wolf go? Uh, no matter. Oh, there you are. That's Those people who only played the free demo that was released of this game will recognize the second part immediately when I enter it. But there's still a lot to do before I get there. Like opening this door. Righto. that I suffer from back issues. My spine is pretty weak and these movable blocks always make my back hurt as i looking how long I move them. Well, pushing I can take, but pulling, I really hate to see it. So if you ever see me pushing a block while pulling would have been the shorter run, you now know why. Yes, this to me is in the demo located elsewhere as you can't get here in the demo. But this is the official location and this key leads to the second part of the city. Also the part that is in the demo version. No, you're not gonna push this, you're gonna climb this. Another bad dive bites the dust. Oh. That's accounted for. Then let's get down. <laughs> well, um, 
let's see. Oh, I guess I am back at the starting point again. No reason for doing that. Was just for fun. Another time. Oh, stupid ceiling. I'll hear that. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, what are you doing, Laura? Let's open this door. And, well, here is the same part as you have in the demo. The only difference with the demo is... That arrow trap. Fuck is that? <laughs> now you see a wolf lying there. However, the crap point of Tomb Raider 1 is you can't kill any enemies that have not yet been activated. So I really must get closer. Settles that. Three pathways can only be done in this order. Well, it's nice that there is some water there. Not that I actually need to do anything with it right now. It's always nice to know that when you mess this up, you get another chance. That's basically it. Smart, I almost fell down there. Well, those who play the demo would know that that to me sing uh, symbol would be in that corner but since i already have it because in the full version it wasn't the first part of the level it's not <laughs> open sesame let's make a safe game this is a spot where i Usually do things too fast, messing things up. That's just a wow of having played a game too much, then you get sometimes a bit overconfident. Especially since these are the 
easiest levels of the game. Okay. Now let's get off the roof. Now, these loose boards actually are in my way, so let's get rid of them. That's better. Timing that jump is easier that way. Now I can go through those platforms over there, but frankly, I don't need to, so why should I? And uh, another switch. Let's see. Yeah, I really must be careful now. And once again, time to get off the roof. Or my Dutch viewers will appreciate my joke when I sing Kom van de dak af, ik waarschuw niet meer. That looks scarier than it actually is, as long as you are not rushing that, you can easily make that. Well, I can't shoot that bear from here. The barrier won't let me. Now this switch doesn't open the door, it does something else. Well, let's fast flip this switch, which I had to do anyway. And now I need to take care of that bloody bear. The only bear that I need to kill. Now, this is also a bit of a matter of luck. As I am a bit dependent on how it is planning to move. Well, I did exactly what I wanted it to do. Come out. Wow. 
or quite often it hides under the platform I'm standing now and then it can take forever. I'm really glad that was not the way it went this time. And now I could do this quickly without getting myself harmed. Well, this part is only to get to a secret passage. Yeah, the stopping of those axes was merely a distraction. That's real money. Is elsewhere. Yes, right here. A set of Uzi clips. Very nice to have. However, the Uzi won't be available until the final level of the Egypt section, so for the time being it's useless. But hey, it's treasure. <laughs> okay, and let's get that idol in. And that takes care of the city of Filcabamba. If you hear some strange noises, I just got something to eat. I was getting a little hungry. And a fried banana would do well. Anyway, this is the Lost Valley. And, well... This is a part that actually comes close to completing this level but there are still a few reasons to take this on now So far, so good. Where am I? Uh, yes, that was the way to go. Well, that network of gears is my ticket out and as you can see three gears are missing the object of this level is to find them but first I am going to try to grab the prize I came for His quest certainly don't mind 
Levi took his shotgun. After all, he doesn't need it anymore. <clears throat> Before I go to my actual thing here, let's first seek out this secret passage. There are quite a lot in this level, and I by far didn't find them all. I only found a few. This is one of them. Well, let's not waste any effort getting down. Let's just let the water take me. I'm doing nothing right now. The water is just forcing me all the way until I reach the waterfall. Gotta watch out, as there are some moves down here. Yes, get up and get down. doesn't realize what happened to him. Well, when this when I played this game the first time I was stuck here forever until I found out there was a way up here. Well Ah, another poor fella. You don't mind if I take your large meta pack. After all, you wasted it. And this is the entrance to the actual valley to which this level owes its name. Now, I need to be very extremely careful. There is a Tyrannosaurus Rex here. Just in time, as there that Tyrannosaurus is. However, it's too big for this little cave. And that will be his downfall. <coughs> Goodbye, Mr. Velociraptor. And from up here, I can just use my pistol. There is no need to waste any more ammo than I strictly need to. But all I gotta do now is wait. There it is. If that Tyrannosaurus could get me, it would swallow me whole ending the game immediately. However, this little archway is too small, so he can't get me. 
So basically all I have to do now is being patient. of this technique is that it can get out of sight and sometimes even die out of sight. it would probably be back by now. However, before I get any closer, let's first save the game. In case I haven't. Velociraptors, but where is that fucking T-Rex? Nowhere to be seen. Never have been gotten past me. Ah, there it is, and I was right, it's dead. Well, down in this pool is the first. Gear I need, out of three. Can 
count yourself lucky, Mr. Velociraptor. Now that I made it, I don't have to kill you. Uh, um, there is the second gear. I can just escape through the water. And yes, now I need to cross that broken bridge in order to get to the last. To reach it, I need to go through this passage. This may be one of the first jumps in the game that can cause some actual trouble to you. However, if you paid good attention to what Laura explained to you during the tutorial in her house, you will find out that this is quite easy. Just stand on the edge, one back jump, and now run and jump and Laura will automatically jump at the last moment. And if you hold the control button, or the action button, which is in my case control, then you will make it to the other side, and be able to claim the last gear. Well, that settles all this here in the valley. Let's get back to the pond at the start of this level. Come on, Lara. Don't play any games on me. I can't get up the way I came as you can't climb up a waterfall. But the way up is easy anyway. I keep on making that mistake. Oh, 
I'll explain what I did wrong there, but before I can show that best, I first must make my way back up. First jump is actually easy. And the second jump too. However, what easily goes wrong here, you can see that the ceiling on the other side is a bit lower on the far right than it is on the far left. You must never make a running jump, as it will always go wrong, easily tempted to do that, and you must not stand too far to the right. Either of those two mistakes will lead you to fall down, and due to the strong current in the water, it will take you all the way down the waterfall. Gear. And the last one. Let's flip the switch. see now that a doorway down there is opened. The water will no longer take me to the waterfall. And a secret passage has opened in the process as well. As the tunnel that I'm swimming through now was completely dry up until this point. Now I can swim through it. And the ceiling here would otherwise be too high now that it is completely submerged, I can swim up there and claim the prizes. Shotgun shells, another small meta pack, and what is that over there? Another set of shotgun shells. Well, you need to be careful here, as you'll always get yourself hurt if you don't do this jump right. But it is the quickest way out. And this is where the waterfall used to be. And here you can see that the waterfall was hiding a passage. 
Remember that cliche. Passages behind waterfalls. It will come back later in the game. And that will conclude the last valley. Let's go for the tube of Qualo Pack. Yeah, the reason I'm doing that is to make sure that I have my shotgun at the ready as soon as I pull that switch. As two Velociraptors will immediately come out. And I actually don't have enough space to put them properly. Takes care of that. Actually, the object is easy. There are three barriers here, and you all see it is hard to see from here, but they all have a different symbol imprinted on them. These same symbols are also found <laughs> on the other side above the doorways. And yes, they would open the equivalent door. Well, task one. Come on, girl, push. <laughs> nice, huh? Those rendering issues we had in the past. You got to remember. This game was written before we had the 3D acceleration hardware. So they had to do it with software rendering and it was far from perfect. This is a bit freaky. This easily goes wrong, and what is down there in that pit is a couple of spikes. So let's make sure. Into the second doorway and thus my second task. This lever is fake. And those were the last moves that I'll ever get to kill in the entire game. Always nice to know. Well, I really got a pool. <laughs> yeah, I took a sip of coffee right when she was pulling. So that I didn't have to watch it and to hurt my back in the process. This is just pushing. There we go. Um, well, this bit is safe. Even contains a small mana pack. Let's get up.
and this switch is real. Here is another mana pack. Something else here. Now, then let's get down. the final doorway that's the wrong side way this one and this is the most complex of the three first of all I should ignore this switch for the time being and go down instead and let's see that's not the way to go this is the way to go. Forgive me, folks. It's getting late at night. Well, late, late. 6.33 p.m. Oh, it's not that late. Oh, oh. And why am I doing that? only mess up that way and let's have another jump Ooh. I touched a key that I shouldn't touch so let's try this again shall we Concentrate, your own. Concentrate. You can do this. You have done this a thousand times before. And if the e if an easy jump like that goes wrong, what will happen in the latest ones? was a bit annoying back at then. Mm. Yeah, that switch over there is the one that opens the barrier. How do I get there, huh? some coffee while I do this. Yeah, that block moved. I hear you wonder why that is and what good that would do. see soon enough. Okay. And I guess I'll have to do this the hard way. <coughs> now I must throw this switch. And another block moved. Fun part. And 
now you can see why those blocks moved and why I initially needed to ignore that switch there. Well, due to the position of the block and the position of the opening, <coughs> pardon me, this is a jump that can easily go wrong. So that's why I made a save game here. Ooh. And the way is open. Now I can just try to reach those blocks. This is actually the safer way to do this. Shotgun at the ready, as there will be a Velociraptor on my way. Good boy. <coughs> Excuse me. The last of my coffee almost got wrong. Well, that is all the fighting for now, except for a boss enemy at the end of this level. But let's first get that Sian or Skian or Cyan or however you pronounce it. Now half of the level collapsed. And this is a fun part to note. This mummy on the left side can be shot down making it growl like a monster. This is probably part of a boss fight that was scrapped from the game. There was initially a boss fight planned here over the ski on itself. Okay, don't get afraid as there will be a boulder after me. There it is. crushed flat if that thing would have gotten to me. And yes, I will now get into the Lost Valley once more. Or at least the pond where that level started. Can't get into the entire level anymore. The boss is on the other side of the pond. However, there's also a secret passage down here. I know that I haven't got them all, as there are more secret passages in this level. But as you will have noticed, I am not a completionist, so I do not care too much about that. Of course, it's always fun to find one. Well... Yes, I know, I can't swim while well, I got my gun. <sighs> so Lara will immediately put it away as soon as I touch the water. However, this way I am 
more fully prepared to do my share in the boss fight as soon as I get out of the water. Hello, Lars. You were seeking my attention. Well, as for some reason I couldn't get the CD audio tracks which were used in Tomb Raider 1 to work properly in DOSBox. I do have the legal version of the game, don't worry about that. So, the scenario is silent here. Anyway, that doesn't matter anymore. This will be the end for this video and I will start recording again once I arrive in Greece. I won't show you that little cutscene that comes in between. That is something for yourself to see as soon as you play the original game yourself. So, see you next week when I'll play the Greece section. Bye bye!